Oh my fucking god, what's going on today, guys? In about seven and a half hours, bonus EXP weekend will be over, and there may never be another bonus EXP weekend on this game. Ooh, that would suck. But I have been training combat on my little Protege account, and I can't really train combat because motherfucking hippie rangers come with big ass cannons and the rock lobsters, tails, and I get crashed. Every fucking world crashes me. Normally it's the other way around, but still. Bonus EXP weekend has been an absolute headache for me. I have altered my sleeping pattern because I kind of really wanted to stay up for the beginning of bonus EXP weekend. Stayed up all fucking night drinking Mountain Dew and energy drinks, uh, Balls Grana, and it gave me a headache. So I went to sleep, like, literally for six and a half hours Saturday from, like, ten to fucking four, and then I started doing agility and some other shit on this game. Then I went back to sleep, and I fucking woke up, and I guess what? The worlds are still laggy, it sucks, and it just... Fucking, it's horrible in general. Today, we are going to compare double EXP bonus fuck my balls weekend of laggy ass shit on RuneScape, sagging titties and your mom's asshole, and we're going to compare it to just bonus EXP weekend, which means the little, you know, you get 10 hours of bonus EXP starting at times 2.7 every half hour, you're playing RuneScape for 10 hours, it basically goes down 0.2. So the first half hour, it's going to be 2.7. Second half hour, it's going to be 2.5, which is still a lot of EXP. Is that really a bad plan for the weekend? 10 hours of playing RuneScape with bonus EXP. Let's see. Let's think about the positives of that shit. Let's see. One. RuneScape worlds are probably most likely not going to be that laggy because not every single motherfucker is going to be on for the entire weekend. Two, you're probably most likely not going to have people fuck up their sleeping patterns, alter their assholes, probably hold in the shits because they don't want to leave their computer chair, probably get bedpans and make their mom scoop diarrhea from their bum bum. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's for the bonus EXP times 2.7. <laughs> Now let's look at the positives for bonus all EXP weekend, which means it's times two EXP the entire weekend. Uh, summoning, you can train summoning for times two. You can have amulets uh, fucking that mad necklace that you get, get back in May. You can also have a pumpkin amulet with, you know, stacks on top of the... E oh yeah, and this is the bugging board marker in case you guys aren't wondering what it is. The bugging board! Yes, the bugging board! We do not have the bugging board in this video, but still. Anyway, so let's see the positives of that shit. Let's see. It's 48 hours or possibly 56, maybe a little longer, hours of double EXP. So therefore, if you alter your sleeping pattern, uh, hold your shits in, or get a bedpan and have your mom wipe your bum bum, then you can potentially get a shit ton of fucking experience, and it would actually benefit you. The only downside is one, RuneScape worlds are going to be really fucking laggy. Wherever you go, whatever world you go to on a peer account or whatever training combat, you will get crashed by fucking assholes with cannons. And there will be a lot of hippie rangers and ice barraging motherfucking douchebag assholes. Yeah, that, that basically sums it all up. However, me personally, I actually feel that bonus EXP weekend, the entire weekend, is actually somewhat decent. The only bad thing is that botters on this game have probably gotten a hefty dandy ass load of experience. Not to mention Jagex is probably getting a lot more people on RuneScape, which is, you know, it's it's good for them. The more people on RuneScape, the more publicity the site gets. You know, it's 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 all about making money in the long run if you really think about it for Jagex. So yes, it did work. The only bad and shitty thing is that it's laggy. It really is fucking laggy as balls. I don't really think Jagex anticipated the lag on this game. I really don't think so. But in the future, if there is ever another double bonus EXP weekend, you know, the entire weekend and shit, Jagex probably most likely will reconsider about, you know, maybe opening some more worlds, maybe fixing their goddamn shitty lag, but still. You know, that's, that's in the future if you really think about it. Me, personally, is it really bad to have bonus EXP the entire weekend? 
other than the fact that literally every 30 seconds I see somebody get a 99, 120 Dungeoneering, 99 Herbler, 99 Summoning, uh, somebody gets all 99s in every single skill. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're talking about holding in the shits for the entire weekend. Now another bad thing for you motherfuckers out there is exhaustion. You have to go to sleep. Even though I have been up for many, many hours doing, you know, various amount of activities previously in my life, it fucking, you still have to go to sleep. So staying up the entire weekend, it may cause you some problems, like holding in your shits, and diarrhea, and constipation. <laughs> it's gonna be a no-no. Unless, you know, you play RuneScape from your bathroom, then that's totally okay and shit. I've done that before, but still. But anyways, guys, let me know in some nasty, dear little comments. What weekend would you rather have? The bonus EXP weekend of 48, 56 hours, however many hours it is, where it's times two everything, or just 10 hours of your own fucking bonus EXP in general, and RuneScape isn't so laggy. Kind of want to know in some nasty, dear little comments. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you guys in a few, and bye.